Hi guys, this is week 5 Project Life and today I am going to use the new inside and out kit from Brandy Kincaid and Feed Your Craft. So I'm starting with my photos and you'll notice they're a little bit different this week. Um, I didn't have many but I did have this, uh, what do you call them, panorama photo that I've taken of this particularly beautiful sunrise we had one morning um, and I decided rather than trim that out I was going to use the whole thing um, and so I'm gonna use one half of it as my title card for this week. So I started out by picking out just a few cards from the kit. I didn't have um, too many spots. There weren't many photos, but they filled up quite a lot of space. So I've just got two three by fours and one's just gonna be that filler, filler card, nothing but bluish skies, because I thought it worked particularly nicely with the sunrise photo. Um, and the other photo, um, sorry, card says, put your feet up, which was, um, exactly what Lily's doing there you can see that dead to the world um, and I used the blank space at the top of that just to type out my journaling for the week which wasn't um, anything earth shattering uh, and the, now I'm just filling up the rest of the page with some of the die cuts now the die cuts come as a printable um, and I just run them um, through my silhouette machine you can totally um, cut them out by hand that's not an issue but I do do it with my silhouette machine I've got a video on how I do that so I will um, leave that link up here for you if you want to check that out and then all I'm gonna do is stick these down now there were lots of um, labels in this printable um, which I love I love that they bring out the colors in the kit um, and I am using a few of them but not necessarily as labels so the one down there by that gorgeous little photo of Jack um, I'm really just using as a layering piece um, underneath the wee sentiment so uh, the other two I do end up sort of using as labels but that one's literally just um, a layering piece but it does add that repetition of shape that I like um, just to bring a bit of consistency to the spread so this photo here is me getting my highlights done and I for sure know that that tiny word uh, that says highlights probably wasn't literally referring to getting blonde highlights put in um, but it works really nicely for my photo so I've popped that in there a little bit tongue-in-cheek I guess but I really like that. That Imagine That die cut is one of my favorites in the kit, so I had to put that on there. It doesn't have a super relevance to anything in the photo, but I just love that sort of whimsicalness of it. So it worked nicely with my um, very pretty sunrise there. Now I kind of felt like I needed um, just something else, a little bit more embellishment for the kit. Uh, so I went and grabbed these puffy sticker hearts. Now I've got three sheets of these. One is white, one is pink, and one is yellow, which I'm not using. Um, and I have no idea <laughs> what brand they're from. I took them out of their original packaging almost as soon as I got them, and I now have no idea. So if anyone's got any idea where these hearts came from, can you leave me a comment so that I know? Because I love them but I really, I, I hate using them because I can't tell you where they're from. So please, if you've got any idea, let me know. And I just scattered them across my page, not necessarily across my photos because you know that photo of Jack deserves its own little love heart um, but I kind of just wanted to scatter them across the page going from the bottom left to the top right that sort of diagonal that draws your eye through the page and now I'm going to do a little bit of stamping now there are some really awesome awesome stamps in this um, this kit here the stamp set I love it so I'm adding just I'm being very light-handed with them because I don't want to go too overboard but um, I'm using just a couple and then one for my title card up here as well so obviously I needed an alpha for my title card title photo either way um, and so I went through my stash and pulled out a bunch of stickers that I liked and thought might go with my spread in this kit um, a couple of them obviously weren't going to work um, and then I came down to a choice between these two. So I've got these white ones, they're kind of a puffy sticker, they're sort of, they're really thin and white so they worked nicely with the lightness of the page um, but I just wasn't convinced that they stood out enough um, because yeah just because they are a bit light and a bit white and there is so much white on the page they didn't really highlight anything for me so I'm gonna give these um, 
these little, they're kind of a rosy gold, pinky kind of color. I'm gonna give them a go. And the way I'm trialing this out is I just grabbed the backing sheet from the stamp set and I'm just gonna place my title down on here and then I can pop it on top of my photo and see what it actually looks like without committing to it. Um, sometimes alphas, you can definitely peel them off cards um, reasonably successfully, but on photos like this, I've never had any success removing alphas. So it was sort of, I need a way to test them before I actually used them um, and this works really nicely and actually I really liked it it ties in the colors are almost perfect with the sunrise photo um, and adding the hello stamp and the little label does make a focus of it so it does stand out as a title against that background um, and I just really like the way it ties in all of the pink and sort of rosy tones that there are to my photos this week so literally all I'm going to do now is just stick down the label underneath and add my date stamping. I had to be a little bit careful with the date stamping because this week um, encompassed two different months. So I was very careful to try and make sure to get both of those months on the label. It's not a huge label. Um, and again, I'm using that stamp backing as a mask so I don't um, wreck either my photo or the label with some random ink. Uh, so you can see those... Um, Backings for stamps can be very handy, uh, very handy to have on hand then. And with that, that is this week all done. Now this is a beautiful kit and I don't imagine that it's going to last much longer so I will leave the link for you down in the description box. Head on over to the Feed Your Craft shop and uh, grab one for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me any comments or questions you've got down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you want to keep watching there's a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye guys.